Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're checking out 1998 Blade. You ever seen it? Nope. So this has Wesley Snipes in it. I don't really know anything about Wesley Snipes other than he's the guy from Blade. So go ahead and let us know in the comments what else is this man playing. And I'm really excited to see this movie because this is one of those that I just completely missed as a kid. Patreon voted for this one, actually. Yeah, it did win a poll. So go hit us over on Patreon if you guys want to participate in the polls. And we drop movies, TV shows, all kinds of stuff over there. Go check out the collections, man. Uh, I'm excited to get into this. So this is Marvel, is it not? Yeah. So that's so weird to me. Right, a 98 Marvel? Right. I don't know who Blade is. He hasn't, you know, he hasn't been relevant in a while, I guess. So we're going to see what this movie's about. Right. Let us know all the Blade facts you guys can, man, because I don't know anything about this character. Right. But we're taking it back to 98. So I was born in 92. So I was, what, right. six? I was in time. kindergarten in 1998. That's wild. All right, let's watch it, guys. Let's go. 1967. That lady looks really familiar, though. She was bitten. That's so sad. No. Starring Wesley Snipes, Stephen Dorff. Oh, so he's born in 67. When you watch an older film like this, it makes you wonder if any of these film techniques were like really new and innovative at the time. Mm -hmm. Like the time lapse. Yeah. <laughs> you know? This is now, and I guess that means 98. Oh, that's my heat seeker. I bet it is. Ah! <laughs> so where are we going? To surprise me. I like surprises. Oh my God. What are we doing here? Is that Titania? <laughs> Woo! Look at all that. What the f is that? Postaskis! What did you just say? Man, I have all kinds of theories over here, but I can't say it. I'm just playing. I don't know how to read now. So I was in kindergarten and people were doing this. <laughs> I would have never guessed. Don't you think that would kind of smell like sweat? <laughs> yeah, I do. It smells like all kinds of stuff. Hey, what's up? It would smell like really dramatic white girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw Stanley. The name, oh. not him. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to say that poor old man. <laughs> Did you just stick that in his mouth? He tested it. What the heck kind of rave is this? Maybe there's a reason my grandma didn't let me watch this. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like she definitely had it. <laughs> <laughs> She's holding out. Right. Bloodbath. No wonder they were wearing all white. That's why he was unprepared. No, no. What's wrong, baby? Is this a joke? Holy crap, I did not expect it to be like this. They're going effing Twilight on him. He's got punched by Clay Guida. If you know, you know. I don't know what, if that was real or not. He's Let's a daywalker. He can go outside when it's daytime. So that was a vamp rave? Oh, <laughs> Whoa! What's in the bullet? Garlic? <laughs> that man's spraying garlic, ain't he? Notice how clean his suit stays. Yeah. He kind of fights like Daredevil a little bit. <laughs> and he ain't even pulled out the blade yet. You know what I'm saying? Man, don't shoot the DJ. That's him! Fuck him up! We're gonna jack you up! Let's go. Jeez. 
he's tough. <laughs> Give me Come that was on, easy. Get out of here, Saber Two. Right. <laughs> Apparently he hunts them. But not only is he hunting them, he's trying to terrorize them a little bit too. He wants to get in their mental. Well, apparently they spawn back or something. Put him out. <laughs> okay, so they're used to this type of activity, huh? Mm, it's a blade special right there. That opening was fun, guys. Count me in. I know how many vamp raves we've we been to in the channel. Zero, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. One, first one. You get bit. Oh, I made it out. Thanks to the blade. Oh, Jesus, that's rank. Paramedic said he was still screaming when they found him stapled to a wall. It was very pretty. Was that Storm? I thought so, but I... Must be doing some cancer research in red blood, blood cells. You took this off a of DOA? Yeah. This doesn't make any sense. That ain't a storm. The red blood cells are biconvex, which is impossible. Who are the polys? are binucleated. Okay, Curtis. This is 3 o'clock in the morning. Wait, this, is, this is not a I'm joke. Really I've got the body in... sitting in the morgue right now. I thought you promised to give me some distance. I just want you to come down and take a look. Okay, show me the body. I don't want to hear a word about us. Done. We've had that conversation. <laughs> you haven't started on the internal organs yet? Just a blood sample for the pericardium. Ugh. The maxilla looks a little deformed. There's some odd muscle structure around the canine. I'm going to go ahead and start the Y and check the tracheal mucosa. Canine's got them biceps, boy. Mm -mm. Let me ask you something. You ever have second thoughts about us? Sometimes, but then I remember how much of a asshole you were. You want to cut me some slack here? You asked for some time off. I gave you some time off. Look, Curtis. You know, I'm trying, really. I it's am. It's over. <laughs> God. Uh uh. Um. The fire don't work. I hate to say it, but Curtis ain't had no fight in him. Oh my God. Does that mean he turns into a vampire? <gasps> no way. A little too late for her. Unless he has like an anti serum. Came back to finish you off. Get out of my way, you freak! That's why he's called Blade. Are you out of your damn mind? <laughs> this movie keeps surprising me, dude. Because what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this movie's kind of nuts, dude. They kind of have zombie like abilities. Yeah. How does he help her? Though? I know. Are they helpable? Dang. They put shots on that lady like that. Shoot first, ask questions later. They were willing to shoot that lady. Oh. <laughs> Damn, he must have planned on throwing her out that window. Uh, oh, ah, God dang. That was crazy. I'm having a lot of fun learning the rules of this world. Yeah, because like vampire lore, I only know Twilight vampire lore. See, I skipped that because I'm, you know. I only know like don't go outside or skin will sparkle and you stay up. You go never sleep. <laughs> you're what? <laughs> you're what will sparkle? Your skin and you never sleep and you never eat. So you're telling me that vampires have some sparkly foreskins? Ew, no, <laughs> I don't know. Is that what you're saying? They got I don't think that reaches the sunlight. Mine does. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That window was dirty as hell. Did you see that? This is already very unique. I just want to point that out. That's what I'm saying. I'm having a damn good time. All right, the blade layer. Let's go. Whistler. I see you. <laughs> Whistler. Bringing all the strays now. She's been bitten. Should have killed her then. Yeah, I know, but I didn't. 
Reminded him of someone. This is reminding me of Batman. Close. Mm -hmm. She starts to turn. You finish her off, or I will. <laughs> She's borderline. Another hour, she'd be well into the change. Dr. Karen Jensen, listen close. I'm gonna inject you with allium set of garlic. Mm. It's Quinn. Frost, little errand boy. Get a lead on him? No. Too bad. <laughs> Hold her. That's crazy. They literally put garlic in her. I was just joking when I said garlic bullet. Give him 50 50. He makes it through the night. She's definitely making it through the night. Garlic is so good, though. <laughs> we just watched a show about a garlic <laughs> festival last night. <laughs> Sunny's food review or something. Best ever food review. Late day walk. Still pursuing his ridiculous crusade. How many died? We don't have an exact count. Apparently, he used a lot of silver. Difficult. Send in Frost. He meant the Hanzo, right? So he's got a silver Hanzo. Deacon Frost, you can come in now. These nightclubs of yours are dangerous. Are they drawing needless attention to our kind? You know our policy. Your policy, not mine. Our life depends on our ability to blend in. Oh. And our discretion. Maybe it's time we forgot about discretion. We should be ruling the heat, not running around making back alley treats. For fuck's sake, these people are our food, not our allies. You're out of line, Frost. Am I? Or maybe I'm just the first to say out loud. Oh, yeah. damn, we got a revolutionary over here. For thousands of years, who are you? Challenge our ways. You're not even a pure blood. Are hey, you half wit? I was born a vampire, as was every other member of this house. But you, Fro, you were merely turned. The world belongs to us, not the humans. You know that. Do we have any other business to discuss? Why does he get a seat? First, Katana, you may wake up one day and find yourself extinct. Can't even finish the meeting. You're a week early. Yeah. Whistler says I'm building up a resistance to the serum. Yeah, I figured that might happen. Hmm. That's not sure. He just used it on that lady, right? Well, she's not building up resistance. Take he care, is. Maybe right? he takes it. Oh. Maybe that's why he's a daywalker. We're just theorizing, guys. We do that way too much. And she said, inspect your neck. Oh, he must not sleep. He doesn't have a bed. Oh, no, she was laying in it, but. Oh. <laughs> well, then why does he must not sleep if he's got a bed? Because maybe he just meditates instead. Maybe that's for like, yes. Ooh. Oh, that would have sliced your hand off. Like if you grab it, you know what I mean? That yeah, thing would have exploded that's through your crazy. hand. Damn stupid. I wouldn't touch anything. Mm -mm. I wouldn't touch that handrail. Check her background. Turns out she's a hematologist. Perfect. Might be useful to us. I doubt it. I'm serious. I took a look at that notebook of hers. She's on to something. I had to increase the dose. It's over 50 milligrams now. That's getting dangerous. Just do it. Ah. Oh, maybe he's trying to turn like not full vampire. Maybe it's like keeping him like halfway. Pretty sure that's exactly what I said earlier, but I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I just wasn't like on the same page earlier, but now I am. <laughs> yeah, we saw you. Wander off the beaten path, Doctor. Who are you people? My name's Abraham Whistler. Matt Blade. Well, that was silent, huh? I know, I was expecting to hear a loud fall and it didn't happen. So am I a prisoner here? Not at all. We just had to take certain precautions before we let you go. You gotta understand, they're everywhere. Vampires, the Hominus Nocturna. Hominus Nocturna. Hominus, see? Moving from one city to the next. Tracking they have a scientific name. Yeah, I mean, they don't kill. sleep. They tend to regenerate. And I'm supposed to believe all this. Well, you already met Mr. Crispy at the hospital. What do you think? So what do you use that? Stakes? Crosses? Crosses don't do squat. Some of the legends are true, though. Vampires are severely allergic to silk. Feed them garlic and they're going to anaphylactic shock. Of course, there's always sunlight, ultraviolet rays. Ultraviolet the rays? Running. Wanna give it a try tonight? Still heavy, but you're so big. You wanna live to see another day, you'll be out of town by nightfall. So where am I supposed to go? You've been exposed to them. One way or another, somebody's gonna take you out. Well, damn. No, I'd be like, There's can I just come with you in the car? There. Hop in the charger and go. Try to keep it from spilling over onto the streets. Sometimes people like yourself get caught in the crossfire. I have blood samples. I can go to the police. They own the police. You have to understand they're every Chances are you've seen them yourself and didn't know it in the subway or in a bar. So that's it? You guys just patch me up and send me on my way. Here, vampire mace, silver nitrate, essence of garlic. Keep your eyes open. Be 
care of her. She's handling this way too well, isn't she? One other mm -hmm. thing, buy yourself a gun. I'm like, Start I clean the boys here. Start getting to daylight, find you're thirsty, regardless of how much you had to drink, then I suggest you take that gun and use it on yourself. This is cool already. Like this movie, the world building of it. Yeah, I like absolutely. It. I feel like it's supernaturally to you. Yeah, the classic American muscle car always helps. The car, the trench coat, the Is that steaks, what supernatural is? The crosses, the garlic. You have been warned before. These archives are restricted to the members of the House of Arab. You always take your time. It's a dead language. The ancient text can never be translated. You wouldn't even understand them. Danny Frost, I'm talking to you! Shh! Keep your voice down, Gitana. We're in a library. You don't need to shout. Damn. What are you gonna do? You bore me. But he was gulping though. Did you see that? But what was that exchange though? So he's trying to study a dead language, apparently. I don't know the word of it. It was like Slavic or something like that. Yeah, it sounded like the demons on Resident Evil. Like they had the same like dialect. Remember what we told you. You keep your eyes open. They're everywhere. Damn, so she's picking up on patterns, huh? Paranoid. I know, what if it was just a couple tat? What are you doing? Mm 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 mm. The signs that escape. Did you see that? Oh, you better hope that was really them, too, though, because imagine getting sprayed up with that. <laughs> yeah, then she goes to jail and gets sealed up with a vampire. <laughs> Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Police officer. I'm sorry, okay. The hell are you in my sorry. house for? Front door was open. What are you doing? Uh -uh. Just here on a routine check. Uh, look, I'm I'm Officer Krieger, 42nd Precinct. Karen Jensen, right? Yeah. Your co-workers at the hospital said that you were kidnapped last night. Are you okay? What happened to the other doctor I was with? Curtis Webb. He died. Don't worry about that right now, okay? Why? Because you're dead too, bitch. Man, I knew oh. it. Oh. What is this garlic? Yeah, well, he said it would work against vampires. Vampires? Who said I was oh, a vampire? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Nobody. He's a familiar. A vampire wannabe. If he's loyal enough and he proves himself, maybe his master will turn him. A familiar. So he's basically getting pimped out. Wait a minute. You use me as bait? Get over it. Is all that necessary? That's a glyph. Vampire cattle brand. It means that Officer Craig is somebody's property. Another vampire tries to bleed this little hooker, then they have to answer to his owner. That's what the other people had, too. Deacon Frost. We've been tracking him for a long time. All right, Officer Craig, you gonna be a good little bloodhound, huh? Tell us what your master's been up to. Great, now you're robbing him. You gonna rob me, too? How do you think that we fund this organization, huh? It's fake. <laughs> That's crazy. So they beat up the bad guys like and take their, take their coin, huh? You got to. New Bronx Clinic. I know this place. It's a blood bank. Owned by vampires. And there's one in every city. And they always deliver. So where were you taking it? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Oh, look, look, take it easy. Damn, He's treating him like a perpetrator. <laughs> He's the cop. <laughs> oh, oh. He zigzag ran too. He knew what was up. The cops would have opened fire, yeah. wouldn't they? <laughs> better wake up. The world you live in is just a sugar-coated top. There is another world beneath it. The real world. And if you want to survive it, you better learn to pull the trigger. Wait a minute. I'm coming with you. You're useless. I have to stick with you. It's the only way that I'll stay alive long enough to find a cure for myself. There is no cure. So basically, she's got a garlic up forever too? He's not going to come back. Well, I don't know about that. Nobody's though. that stupid. When you understand the nature of a thing, you know what it's capable of. It's Krieger. Yes. Get me Pearl. I got a delivery from Frost here, and I just had a run in with Blake. So they take blood to feed them vampires? <laughs> That's crazy. I feel like how in the world do you live in the city and not know about this though? But they do because they said they own the city basically. Yeah, but this lady's walking around oblivious to everything. Maybe she works at a hospital. Oh, you talking about that lady? Looks like we hit pay dirt. That's a vampire mark. Means that there's a safe house around here somewhere. A place they can go if dawn is coming. You see the valets over there? They're vampires. So's the doorman and the whore in the corner. How can you tell? By the way they move, the way they smell. 
It's like a bad dream. There are worse things out tonight than vampires. Like what? Like me. Ooh. Okay, vampire. And I that story. Crosses and running water don't do dicks, so forget what you've seen in the movies. You use a stake, silver, or sunlight. You know how to use one of these? Nope. I damn sure learn quick. Safety's off rounds already. Like you ain't for the head or the heart. Anything else is your ass. Wow. You have invitation. <laughs> There's your invitation. <laughs> That's you in the shower. No, it is not. <laughs> Just like Kill Bill. <laughs> I, that's what I was thinking, dude. You sticking out, brother? Where's the entrance? I can't tell you that, man. Ask you one more time. Where's the entrance? Okay, it's in the freezer. No way. <laughs> Come on, man! I told you that's a friend. Dang! You give Frost a message for me. You tell him it's open season and all. Suck it. <laughs> It'd be fun to be Blade. Oh, yeah. He has an interesting life. Season on all. Suck it. <laughs> I never heard that one before. <laughs> So he's basically a vampire slayer, you would say. Some kind of archive. This must be where they keep most of their records. Isn't this just a little high tech? They've got their claws into everything. Politics, finance, real estate. They already own half of downtown. So he must hate vampires because they killed his mom. Yeah, because she was bit. Right. And then he's very unique because he was born at the time that she died. Right. It was so kind of like Last of Us kind of, but like, what's you know. the odds of that happening? You know? Yeah. I feel like Forrest Gump's girl would be there. Yeah. Jenny. Did he just like microwave her ass or something? <laughs> what the heck? Don't keep everyone waiting. Deacon, someone here to see you. Every time I see stuff like that in movies, I always wonder, That's did that guy build the program that deciphered that? Did he just download it on Google Play? It's a mistake going to pearls. I know that dumb me. I know you're disappointed. Am I that transparent? Frost, it's about Blade. Frost, this is important. Blade was waiting for me. You're using the girl as bait. I didn't know he was gonna be there. It's a trap, see? Well, don't worry about it. It's no problem. We can still get the girl. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, he ain't turning them. He's killing them. Ugh. Mm. Get the girl. I want blue. The super grayscale yeah, blue crazy. tones right here, contrasting with the blood, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. What? When I'm alive. What's that smell? Is that you? That's that thing of Dune. He's here. This must be Pearl, the record keeper. Yeah. He's going to kill me. You need me, Frost. You need me. Pearl, your history. Have the good grace to die with some fucking dignity. Frost. Congratulations, Blade. Frost. I hear you've been looking for me. I'm flattered. It'll pass. That biscuit boy is a UV lamp. We're gonna play a little game of 20 questions. Depending on how you answer, you may walk out of here with a tan. What's that? Oh, that, oh it's nothing. It's routine research. <laughs> He's gonna explode like that thing from Left from Dead. Or Left for Dead or whatever it's called. Uh. That must hurt. It's a fragment! A piece of the prophecy! What a prophecy? Not really sure. So like... <laughs> The blood god. And there's nothing you can do about it, Daywaka! Is that so? Well, that's what Frost says. Well, then you won't mind me borrowing this for a while, will you? If he moves. Ryan, what's in here? Nothing. It's the storeroom, but you're wasting your time. Man, you gotta stop lying. <laughs> then you won't mind if I take a peek. No! <laughs> Dude, she is fucking him up. I know. <laughs> she ain't playing with him. He moved. Nice. She went from humane doctor to torture super quick. What is this? These are the pages from the Book of Erebus, Vampire Bible. It contains everything, their entire history. 
Did you see a child? Or something. Give me your hand. Hola, amigo. Do you remember me? No way. No. You had to do it. I know. He kicked him in just enough time for that. Isn't that like a sacred room? Hey, hey! Nice one. You took my arm, man. But it's cool. I got a new one. <laughs> they play piano again. You can slice him, you can dice him, but the Quinn man just keeps on coming. Check it out. I've got his pig yeah, stick. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> like that, baby. You're fuck up, Chris! <laughs> I got his pig stick! Oh, you're just full of surprises. I like this movie. Oh, 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 oh. Stay with me, sweetness, because I'm not finished with you yet. Oh, looky here. Silver. Nice craftsmanship, huh? Probably cost you a pretty penny. Now, this here is a man who takes his job just a little too seriously, don't you think? Come to think of a blade, I owe you one. Wow. Actually, if you want to get technical blade, he owes you two. Oh, man. I two. Oh, it's so funny, bright eyes. I'm expecting company. Okay. Catch you at a bad time. It's yes. the Undertaker. <laughs> I love that. And he's no scoping them. <laughs> that old man's hell, ain't he? He's such a good sidekick. They work well together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh oh, oh is that explosive? The whole time? They gotta let it run loose without a chaperone. <laughs> Whoa. You just have to wait when it parts a little bit and go through, and then they're stuck. It's not too old for this. He can take care of himself. Jump. Dang. She's got hops, though, for real. Talk about a bad way to go. You better let go. Oh my gosh, I'm scared for her to hold that. This is. He ran from him. What are you gonna do? Oh my god. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> That was a strong handle. What's that was wrong? wild, y'all. Return the favor. Return the favor. Let me help. No. Let me give you a hand. It reminds me of popping your toes. Yeah. I, I always like pop her toes and she hates it. It's scary. I just feel like one day you're going to pull it off. <laughs> you're one of them, aren't you? No. I'm something else. Great, I wanted the answer for that one. I found him when he was 13, living on the streets, feeding off the homeless. His need for blood had taken hold at puberty. I took him for a vampire at first, almost killed him too. Then I realized what he was. Blade's mother was attacked by a vampire while she was pregnant. She died, but he lived. Unfortunately, he'd undergone certain genetic changes. He can withstand garlic, silver, even sunlight, and he's got their strength. This time tomorrow, all those wounds of his will be healed. He still ages like a human, though. See, vampires age slower than us. Unfortunately, he also inherited their thirst. I thought the serum was supposed to suppress that. Time's running out, the body's starting to reject it. So far, all my efforts to find a cure have failed. Well, how old is he? Why do you hunt them? I had a family once, wife, two daughters. Drifter came calling one evening, vampire. He toyed with them first, tried to make me decide which order they die in. We kill as many of them as we can find, but it's getting worse. Because of frost. There's something happening in the vampire ranks. There's something big. And I'd stake my life that son of a is at the center of it. Seems like the vampires want to go public, huh? Tired of living in the shadows, quote unquote. Well, that deacon guy is. The other people are like, it's a treaty. It's a treaty. Right. We can't deny the treaty. But I just don't understand why he gets to say. There's always one who, has, who doesn't like it. Like the nephew? Yeah. Whistler told me what happened. He told me what you are. You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. I'm not human. You look human to me. Humans don't drink. Blood. That was a long time ago. Maybe you should let that go. I have spent my whole life looking for that thing that killed my mother. It made me what 
I am. And every time I take one of those monsters out, I get a little piece of that life back. So don't you tell me about forgetting. My fault! He took us by surprise! We were out gunned! Don't point your finger force? at me! You don't put that shit on me! Oh my gosh. Training face. That's the ball for it, alright? Ow! You little ski! She thought it was like a candy apple or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she can't resist. Duke, let me take this guy out, man. Look, he took my hand again! Listen, I want him alive. When I'm alive? We've been trying to kill this mother for years! <laughs> <laughs> Big guy, relax. Be patient. And we got a lot to do here. I need you, man. I need you. <laughs> I don't want to see him kiss nobody else. I know. They just be biting in each other with blood and stuff. <clears throat> Morning. How you feeling? <clears throat> Look at that. Whew. Getting a little toasty out here, huh? When was the last time you stopped to appreciate a good sunrise? Oh, that's right. You were born a vampire, so you never had the pleasure, have you? Oh, look that's at his okay. face. At least we're here together, share the moment, which means a lot to me, by the way, really. I mean that. It was actually, you know, when you get to know me, I'm a fairly sentimental type of guy. Bit of an innocent, you might say. Do what you want, Frost. Doesn't make any difference. Never gonna be a pure blood. Hold him. I don't think he wants to. You will never rule us. <laughs> ah. Oh, he take his fangs out. He devamped him. Jesus Christ. Have a nice day. Sorry, old dog. You just got a little too long of the teeth. What, man? That was funny. Did I tell you the one about the leprechaun? So that he can withstand it, but only a little bit. Yeah, it looks like she had to put either. I know I was going to say serum, but it's probably just sunscreen. What have you done with Dragon Eddie? Get down to business, shall we? Those were some seashells. Mm -hmm. I need 12 volunteers. <laughs> With some red paint on them. Listen. What is this? It smelled like a vampire wiped his ass with it. I took it from the archives. <laughs> Written in blood. It's from the Book of Erebus. I think it's what Frost has been working on. Something about the blood guy. Spirits of the Twelve. I don't know. I can't make out the rest of it. But maybe this will help. We'll figure out something. So what's all of this? I took a trip to the hospital last night. Borrowed some equipment. For your miracle cure. This is EDTA. It's an anticoagulant. We use it to treat blood clots. And look what happens when I introduce it onto a sample of vampire blood. Take a step back. The reaction's energetic. <laughs> Damn! Some cure. I didn't say EDTA was a cure, but maybe you could use it to explode some vampire heads. Yeah, that's a weapon right there. Wait a minute. I need a sample of your blood. Later. Gotta go downtown. Need some serum. Serum can wait. <laughs> this is important. <laughs> Gotta go downtown. Uh oh. <laughs> Is he sick? Cancer. You have a lot of love for him, don't you? We have a good arrangement. He makes the weapons. I use them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my mother used to say, a cold heart is a dead heart. Those look tough, though, don't they? You don't look so good. Just a little tired, you know. We've been working all night. Guess we didn't catch it in time. You got another day, two at the most. No. You can't lose everybody, Blade. What right. It's worth, I'm sorry. He just needs to put you some hydrogen peroxide like on it. Dead. But in Supernatural War, if you kill the vampire that turns you, then you're cured. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So maybe that's what could happen. But Hopefully that I didn't spoil the movie already, or nothing, right? but that, that was a whole different already, show. I thought. No, that one was that guy. Hey. When? Right. Well, like if you kill like the one who turned everybody, like uh, the master vampire, like the one who's responsible for turning everybody. Like everyone. the Night King? Yeah, kind of. How you doing, Chief? <laughs> Easy. <gasps> it's nice to finally meet you, man. Had my eye on you for years. I know all about you. Serum, Whistler, everything. Sunblock. Hey, it's a start, right? SPF the goal, 50. of course, is to be like you. Daywalker. You got the best of both worlds, don't you? All our strengths, none of our weaknesses. Well, maybe I don't see it that way. Oh, so it's back to pretending we're human again? Come on. Spare me the Uncle Tom routine, okay? I can't keep denying what you are, man. You think the humans will ever accept a half-breed like you? They can't. They're afraid of you. And they should be. You're an animal. You're a f maniac. Look at them. They're cattle. Pieces of meat. Jeez. What difference does it make how their world ends? Plague, war, famine. Morality doesn't even enter into it. We're just a function of natural selection. The new race. Looks like your mascara's running. Mm -hmm. I'm offering you a truce. I want you with us. What do you think? I'm stupid. He's a bad hostage you negotiator. God. Frost, you're nothing to me but another dead vampire. You're an idiot, you know that? I came down here offering you an easy way out. Spit it right back in my face. Careful. What do I care? 
than nothing but cattle, just like you said. If you want to take the hard road, be my guest, pal. But I promise you, by the time this is over, you're gonna wish they never cut you from your mother's womb. Gotta pick up a little girl and throw her like that though. Oh no. No shot, no. That guy's a real oh. He really <laughs> is. Oh. It's simple. Why don't you need therapy now? Blood. Because their own blood Where's they in the park for yeah. It's a genetic defect just like hemolytic anemia. That means that we have to treat it with gene therapy. We write the victim's DNA with the retrovirus. They've been using it on sickle cell anemia. Are you sure that's safe? I have no idea, but I don't have a choice, do I? You actually think this could work? On me, yes. On Blade, I'm not so sure. See, he didn't contract vampirism from a bite like I did. He was born with it. It's part of his DNA. I'm sure I can cure his thirst, but it's gonna take time. <sighs> We're out of time. You saw what was on that disc. <laughs> How are you just gonna come laughing in there? Get out of here. Dang, you got a shotgun here. in the light. <laughs> you have to if people just come in laughing like that. No, but like, secure the door better. I said get out of here! No. Do not. Nice place. Took us a while to fight! I can't wait till they that guy's that the guy. worst, dude. He's so he's a good villain, honestly, because I don't yeah, like him at all. I ain't gonna bite you. <laughs> I feel like his parents had a lot of money, <laughs> you know. They paid for him to be a vampire. <laughs> Do your thing. Uh uh. Blade is gonna come for that butt if you kill that guy for real. Whistler. Not a play me tape. Mm -mm. Oh my God, please don't be. Oh, he's blinking. Oh, he opened his eye. Frost took her. Listen to me. The disc, he decoded it. Frost is trying to trick her up. Vampire apocalypse. There's some kind of vampire god he's trying to resurrect. Look, you with the key. He needs your blood. Whoa. That's why he wants him alive. Mm -hmm. The blood of the daywalker. Listen to me, Blade. You can't go after him. Oh, shit. If Frost gets his hands on you, it's all over. The apocalypse. There'll be armies of the motherfuckers. Ah! You're gonna have to finish me off. That sucks. Don't want me coming back. Mm. I can treat the wounds. It's too far gone. You know that. Give me your gun. No. Give me the goddamn gun. That sucks. <laughs> How'd he pull it out so quick? That was crazy. Now walk away. Dang, man. He was a cool ass character, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, I really liked him. He made a great Alfred. By the time you watch this, your friend Whistler should be dead. If it makes any difference to you, he put up quite a fight. You can find us at the Edgewood Towers. Oh, he's forging bullets. Crazy. Silver ones. Harley confused, I think. about to go pull him out by the damn root. Root and sim. Mm -hmm. Seem a bit tense, a bit pent up maybe. Like I need to release something. No? Blade not giving it to you maybe? <laughs> I don't know, I see such a beautiful woman. Great skin. I'd like to see you happy, that's all. Is this the part where you offer to turn me? Well, it's either that or a body bag. Go ahead, bite. I'll just cure myself. I did it before and I can do it again. There is no cure, baby. There is if you've been bit. If you were once human. How'd you get that scar, Deacon? A born vampire would have the power to regenerate from birth. You must have gotten scarred before you were turned. Isn't that right? Vampires like you aren't a species. Oh, he's mad as hell. You just infect a virus, a sexually transmitted disease. I'll tell you what we are, sister. We're the Ooh. top of the f***ing food chain. The blood god's coming, and after tonight, you people are f***ing history. He's a hurricane, an act of God. Anyone caught in his path will instantly be turned. Trying to meet this dude. <laughs> Everyone you've ever known. It won't matter who's pure blood and who's not. Blade's blood is the key. We've got an intruder. That guy's really down for the cost, though, ain't he? He seemed to like have like be possessed or something, because when she said something, his voice changed. Maybe he was just pissed. <laughs> it really rubbed him raw. He grinded his gears. <laughs> 
think you understand. I mean, this dude is what? fucking bad. Man, he's got shitty throws at you. He's got, that you like the sword. Yeah, he had the sword. And Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look, make it happen, all right? It's one guy on. <laughs> one guy. <laughs> Gunfire, huh? Did I tell anybody to start shooting? I need him alive. No, please, I just work for them. Lock this place down. Yes, sir. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> getting worn. <laughs> now he's on the ninja floor. <laughs> yeah, there's 13 different levels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Level two. <laughs> that stuff that lady that they were looking in the magnifying glass. Yeah. They probably thought that was so advanced in 98. They're probably. Like, That's what I was saying earlier. Like, what program is that? <laughs> All it's doing is showing one little thing. Like. <laughs> I was like, that looks like his mom. There's no way. How the hell would he remember? But you died. I came back, Eric. That very same night, and Deacon welcomed me into his arms. Jesus Christ. I thought you'd be happy. You're finally being reunited with your mother, and you act like this? He should be on scream. It it's over. She belongs to me, buddy. Don't look so surprised. You spent your whole life looking for the vampire who bit your mother. Here I am. Man, how do we know? Who ever guessed you'd survive your mother's death? Because he's just the worst. But you did. Of course you did. Here we are. One big happy fucking family. Yeah, because he's kind of like his vampire dad in a way. He's about to go whoop his stepdad's ass, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> I need my serum. Maybe when we get out of this, I'll take that miracle cure of yours. If it works, you'll lose your strength and your ability to regenerate. You'll be completely human. But does he still get to be like nice with the sword and stuff? I don't think so. I mean, obviously he has more advanced reaction time and stuff. I know one thing, we're cooking up a cold trilogy over here. This, is this movie's crazy. going crazy. It makes Twilight look like a grilled cheese. <laughs> Blade, Karen, glad you could make it. Hey man, thanks for the shit. Uh. Our ancestors called this place the Temple of Eternal Night. Nice, isn't it? Apparently these geniuses forgot it ever existed. Fortunately for us, I'm what you might call a student of history. Why are we here? This temple was built for one glorious moment. This night, for the Blood God. The Blood God. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to do that. He just wanted to show off that new hand he's growing. Let's see this sword of yours. Gladly. Titanium, right? Acid etched? I get used to a weapon like this. What? You look surprised. I told you, Blade. I know everything about you. Hold out your arm, Quinn. Why, man? Because they're, they're like all better. <laughs> Hold out your arm. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Just kidding. Yeah, thank <laughs> <my> God. <laughs> now he's going to. Fucking with me, man. He was like a fucking fucking. <laughs> He can't hear you, honey. The thirst has got him now. What do we have here? Precious serum. How long's it been since you shot up? 12, 13 hours, maybe? I bet you're just dying for a drink. What's it feel like? Try it. Try some. You might like it. Thanks, but I prefer the real thing. In any event, I don't think you'd be needing these anymore. I love how they keep the serum it's blue. It's a shame, you know? White blood's blue in your body before it comes out. When I think of what yeah. you've become, what you should have become. I guess I don't blame you. I mean, with everything that's happened, it's the human side of you that's made you weak. You should have listened to your blood. Say what you want. But I promise you, you'll be dead by dawn. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Get him out of here. Come on, let's go. Isn't it crazy how his last name is Frost and she is like an Emma Frost vibe? Worry, yeah. I wonder why. I wonder if they're ever connected. We got something real special planned for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he didn't turn, did he? No, oh, he turned into some kind of zombie. <laughs> and they'll eat anything. Animals, rodents, corpses, and sometimes they'll even eat vampires. That's a plus. I'm bearing that all in mind. I'd like you to meet an old friend of yours. <laughs> what? Dang. Too bad. I kind of liked her. A little waste. That, the other doctor's probably down there. Y'all turned out. <sighs> Yeah, he called it, baby. That's the one she was dating. Curtis, 
Karen? Karen? I never thought I would see you again. Tell me, Karen, do you ever have second thoughts about us? I would say that as a no. Oh my god. That's right, Karen. She should have been like, you were a mistake. Like with a steak. Yeah. How dare you, Blade's mom? That looks like they made it just for him, huh? Yeah, he was the key, apparently. Poor child. You're so sick, so thirsty. Don't touch me. Eric, look at me. Vampires are my people now. I'm one of them. Can't be. Yes, it can. Try to understand, Eric. Your mother died a long time ago. That doesn't make that right. I've killed. Stop kissing him. <laughs> and I've enjoyed it. Haven't you? I know you have. Sooner or later, the thirst always wins. The only mom advice she ever gave him. <laughs> Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Come on. Spread them out. One on each limb under the toes. Make it perfect. Oh, just like that little thing they were watching a hundred times. Here we go. Oh no. Bring the elevator up. This is trippy. I know. I hope the blood god powers Blade up or something. Yeah, I hope he's on Blade's side. I hope he's like, Blade, Take you're a good dude, fool. man. What do you think is going to happen? Lamagra, the blood god? That's nothing more than a fairy tale for pretty little vampires. And why are you sweating pure blood? You're afraid we're going to steal your soul. Your pure blood spirit. You should be. Read the prophecy. It's time you f contributed something to the cause. Even if Frost is right. You really think he cares about you? You're gonna die just like the rest of us. Uh oh. That might mess it up. Yeah, this seemed a little impulsive, didn't it? They need his little symbol yeah. on the symbol. Blade. Oh. Tonight, the age of man comes to an end. No more compromises. We're gonna be gods. Of course we are. Yeah, he's about to die. <laughs> I'm going to be naughty. A naughty vampire god. <laughs> mm -hmm. stop. Save your strength. You're hypervolemic. You're bleeding to death. Oh, he's going to say, like, bite my neck? Wait, listen to me. I want you to take some of my blood. <sighs> it's been so long. Look, just do it. He's like Edward Cullen with the principles. Who's that? Oh, Twilight. His principles. He can't bite humans. Is everybody thirsty? I hope you're all very f***ing thirsty. Oh, he's chugging. Go. <laughs> Maybe like human blood gives them some real power. Uh oh. That was crazy, Karen. That's mom, right? Let's just get rid of her real quick. He was like, he's practiced that a few times. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, I hope she makes it. I think I'd have just drop kicked his ass down there. 
I guarantee it. I'd, I'd be successful. <laughs> she was thinking like long term, I guess. Eric, I'm your mother. You wouldn't hurt your mother. You might. You'll always be my queen. Yeah, you think that's, that's what's gonna happen? Oh. Their vampire souls came out. So they really do like correlate with that. Damn. Who cares? It's a traumatic day for you, Blade. Uh oh. Oh yeah. That was a good superhero ending. Kill him. Wait. That's probably I the OG you, one. I got two new hands, Blade. I don't know which one to use to kill you. Ah! Dang, he's gone. Oh, glasses. glasses. Back. Yes. And those probably don't even have any type of X-ray vision in them or anything. Well, he just doesn't see very good when it's too bright. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up, baby. Keep up. I forgot that he's a vampire. It's like a lot. Well, I mean, I was a vampire for like 300 years, though, so I got experience. Why are y'all still walking up to my man? Just jump down there. Make it easy on yourself. Just fall on your sword. <laughs> Damn, better get closer. <laughs> Not that close. I'm really going to enjoy this now. <laughs> She was like, <laughs> I love the punch noises. <laughs> Damn, we gotta fight Homelander. <laughs> yes. Damn, that seemed easy. Always. Oh, because he's like blood god powered. <laughs> Too late, Blade. <laughs> it's never too late. He did all that and he got kicked in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't in the heart. Close. The cliche joke to make is he doesn't have one. Uh oh, but I'm not going to do that. Look at you. You're a little bitch. <laughs> what? Your serum can't help you now, stud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but his Hanzo can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, he overdosed his ass. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up hill. He'd have been really good at that bottle cap challenge. Mm -hmm. Damn. Turned his ass into hubba bubba. <laughs> <laughs> This was all Let's you, Karen. 
She said, you need to come back up here and finish sucking on my neck. <laughs> yeah, she liked that a little too much. She's like, more, keep doing it. The fate of the universe was on a blood sucking, for real. I need to get back to the lab if I'm gonna cure you. It's not over. You keep your cure. There's still a war going on and I have a job to do. Hell yeah. You wanna help make me a better sir? Ooh. Damn. Moscow, go figure. Uh oh. I hear the music. Like the International Men of Letters. You don't know what that is. You know what that is. Oh, you went international. Took the words right on my things. Comrade. <laughs> they said the second one, we are taking it to Russia, baby. Hell yeah. They said we didn't invent end screens yet, Anthony, in 98. No, they probably did. While the rest of this music is playing, Brooke's going to rap. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That was that was awesome, man. That was such a good movie. Let me get this off. Okay, babe. So that was Blade. Explains to the audience how great that was. Well, you know, when I heard the term Blade, well, the name Blade, I thought we were just going to see like a great swordsman, like a phenomenal swordsman. I really didn't even know he was going to be a vampire at all. I didn't even guess that because, you know, why would I guess that? Earlier <laughs> I guess. when I made you turn your head, I was like... Oh, he's a vamp? He's a so vamp. So you knew he was? Mm -hmm. Dang, man. I, I really didn't know that, so it was a cool surprise. I feel like every human with a pair of testicles knows that he's a vampire. <laughs> every oh. dude knows. I, I'm, I'm missing those. So. Guys, uh, Blade's like a really iconic vampire. His character played... I mean, you see right there. I mean, he's like the most iconic yeah, vampire like ever. I, I'm mad I didn't know that. I mean, to I hate to say it, and I'm probably going to get shot and probably like, you know, canceled, but... Edward Cullen's the only vampire I know of. Yeah, that's a problem, but I don't know who that is. I mean, I know who the guy from he's Twilight, Twilight is. He's I mean, the guy who he's played He's Batman, him. of course, you know? Anyways, man, this movie right here was phenomenal, man. I really liked it because it was older. You know, it was mm -hmm. a 1998 movie, and you could really tell. Mm -hmm. There's something really corny about movies made back then, but corny in the best type of way, right? Yeah. Like, uh... Like when he threw the girl off the building, yeah. that was so funny. I think that was probably my favorite part of the movie. Yeah. He grabbed her. He head. just cashed through her across the street. And all that happened to her was she dislocated her shoulder. <laughs> and then he just pops it back in. She's like, all right, we're good to go. If that had been me, I'd have dislocated my soul. <laughs> but anyways, but she was good to go. She was tough as nails. I know. And she was tough as steaks. Yeah. That was a cool movie. I thought the sidekick guy, to be honest, man, I, I miss his name. The Whistler. That's what it was. The Whistler was a really cool character in this. Like. I've never seen that movie Mad Max, but I know they call the girl from Stranger Things Mad Max. But when I hear the name Mad Max, I picture that guy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He seems like a Mad Max to me, right? He looks like on Sundays, he would literally motorcycle. He'd motorcycle to the body shop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, stop stereotyping people. Oh, but he, but <laughs> you know, joking. that's the type of vibe he gave off because he had the sleeveless and the... We have a pool. We have this little place at the end of our road where all these bikers get together and play pool. And they like bought this place. They bought like a little house and turned it into like a damn hell house. It's like it's like on if you ever played GTA, I don't know if anyone has, but it's like a biker the biker hideouts is just like that. It's like a real life one. I would go up there. I'm just not rough enough for all that. No, you so probably they probably try you up and take your probably hat. turn me into a vampire. <laughs> uh love the movie, man. It was a pretty straightforward movie. I love the political underground themes going on. I love how politicians are at war with members of i guess the vampire cabinet yeah and they have to coexist and somehow or another they try to convince me as the audience member that there were people operating in this world professional people people in the medical industry and they weren't aware of the underground vampire ring going on and well, that, i feel to like me, is maybe they crazy. are they just cover it up because remember when she got bit he was like oh they're gonna hunt Man, you down you can't cover that up yeah, but she acted shocked. Like she didn't even know. She was new to the whole world. And well, I maybe get it. they never go there. Maybe they just follow him. It makes sense. Like a lot of people just aren't aware of things. Yeah. You know. Uh, but it seemed like, it just seems like on some level, man, I'd wonder how come every time I go outside, there's somebody eating somebody's neck outside. Well, maybe the, um, I think at first they were hiding it. That's the point. They were hiding it until that deacon maybe they guy were came along. Bold. I know. I'm yeah. just. It's the same thing with Supernatural. On Supernatural, there's like demons coming out the sky and there's all this crazy stuff happening. But at the same time, 
there's always a family and they're always have to explain to the family how reality is not what you think. And they're all dad's always like, Ooh, like, Ooh. like what do you mean? My house is haunted. So and, there was a lot of lore elements in this to you. Well, I feel like anytime you get into like supernatural themes, I feel like back then supernatural themes, like whatever worked is just what you went with in a way like silver bullets on vampires. I mean, certain war is going to say, but this is 98. So this is well before supernatural. Well, I feel like back then they had to keep the rules similar because as like a mass audience, people weren't really familiar with the rules that right, much. Yeah. Like a lot of people, a lot of people probably learned that a silver spike to the heart would kill a vampire from this movie. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Like, because there, I don't know how many zombie projects or uh, vampire projects there were before this. Right. I just knew when I was little, I always was told to, that if you had garlic, you were safe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why immediately, like, my initial reaction was, oh, it's garlic every, bullets. Every time you eat garlic on pizza or, like, garlic sauce, you're, someone's dad always has to be like, ooh, it's like a vampire ain't going to get you or something <laughs> like that. You, you kill the vampire if you the bit vampire. it. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um. I thought it was a really fun movie to watch. It's not quite October yet, but it's close. By the time this thing hits YouTube, it'll probably be October. So I thought it was a really fun video to watch for October. Yeah. I didn't plan on watching like a scary movie or anything. It just happened to win the Patreon poll. Yeah. But I'm glad it did. This is a trilogy. Right. And it it was horror, but in, in a good way. Guys, uh, this is Blade 1. We're going to put it on YouTube. If you guys want to see Blade 2 and Blade 3, uh, definitely let us know. Like the video. That's that's the quickest way to let us know to do more. You know. Yeah. We sometimes we want to get into movies like we want to watch a movie, but sometimes you watch a movie and there's like five of them. Mm -hmm. And the question is, do we always watch the fourth and fifth movie even if there's not a demand for it? But man, yeah. if you want us to see it, definitely hit the like button because I had a really good time with this movie. I thought it was really fun. I did too. Because we were guys. The poll was actually two thousand superhero movies. And I want to circle back to that because I had a lot of fun with this one. So. We do like movies and then we do a superhero movie poll separate yeah. because we built our channel on Marvel in a way, like reacting to Marvel because we had never seen it. So it sort of took on like a life of its own. Yeah. And I think eventually when we after Halloween and stuff, we'll probably do like different genre polls. That's what I want to get into after we do some like because I like some filmography, too. I like that we're doing the Tarantino's in order. Well, there's so many projects that. Are in different genres that we don't even know that we're missing at this point. Right. Like we're about to watch a lot of horror stuff for October, and I don't even know what's out in the horror world. Like when I think of what what do people want to see, I know there's stuff like Shogun and stuff like that because people say it a lot. But that's because we sort of have a niche, so yeah. we want to expand a little bit and just see what else is out there. Right. But the this least. right here, I love this. I can't. Right. I I really hope you guys want to see the second and third one because I kind of. I want to watch it. I want to yeah. see how this world plays out. I thought Wesley Snipes was really cool in this. I love the way yes. he. I liked his demeanor. Like I liked his little one line. He didn't crack a single smile, did he? Unless it was like he was about to fight or something. Like no, he, was, he didn't show his fangs much. Right, he was very um. How would you put it? Like stoic, just very. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah, I've never seen a superhero with his demeanor, and I liked. I, I thought it was fun. Right, he was just very dark. Mm -hmm. So he's like dark and emo without being like emo. If that makes sense. Yeah, I would say the next person that was like him, and I know no one else might agree with this, but I'm agreeing Bucky? with it. No, oh. the Batman, the Rob Pattinson Batman was like that. I mean, all vampires act the same. <laughs> yeah, once a vampire, always. Well, Y'all thought y'all was watching Batman, but underneath that costume, it was actually a vampire pretending to be a bat. So right. that's interesting. Go check that movie out if you guys ain't <laughs> seen it, because there's something in the way. If you yeah. know what I'm saying. And no, I don't look like the Joker from that movie. The Riddler. <laughs> the Riddler. <laughs> the whoever. So Don't this, look like him. So this villain right here was called Deacon Frost. He sucked. <laughs> he was, he the was worst so part annoying. Of the movie. Yeah, he was. Mm. But that's the funny thing about like movies that are older because the villains are just so annoying. They don't have like an agenda where you feel kind of bad for them. They're just annoying. That guy was just the ultimate tool. Yeah. For no reason. <laughs> and that's what I like about older movies though because in these ones you can kind of sympathize with the bad guys like. In a weird way, I sympathize with Wilson Fisk on Daredevil, for example. Sometimes I do. Like it's weird, I know, but I sometimes do. Mostly because I like Vanessa. I don't. I don't really like Vanessa. I think Vanessa is enabling Wilson Fisk to be an absolute. I think mob she boss. is too, but I, I don't want to see her die. Mm, that makes two of us for sure. <laughs> Super awesome movie, man. That was Blade. I, we have to turn our TV off at some point and go to sleep. So if I hear a knock at the door tonight, I might assume it's a vampire, but hopefully I'll be back to normal tomorrow. But. This was cool, man. This is a really cool movie. So wait, they said they did. Didn't it. really feel like a Marvel movie. No, no, no. One of the opening no, 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 scenes, no, no, no. there was some top action going on in a club, and I'm just like, did they say that? On? Did they say that Blade doesn't age like vampires? He ages like a normal person. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure of that because right. 
That 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 explains his mom then why she didn't age a drop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Ooh, really yeah. cool movie. There's just a lot of good there's just a lot of good stuff in this I, movie. I think that the main villain uh, once again was just so There's a the thing about a villain like there's there's certain types of villains like you said there's the type that you sympathize with, there's the type that you hate. Uh, there's a type that you love to hate because mm -hmm. for some reason they suck, but you just really like them, kind of like Joffrey on Game of Thrones, yeah. which a lot of people are gonna and be completely Homelander too. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I was picturing actually. But the reason I said Joffrey is because I figured I'd make more people upset with that. <laughs> but <laughs> this character was just one that you just cannot stand. So this guy was just just such a like. What's the proper word for a giga it? Giga Chad. He was a Giga Chad, I guess. Right. <laughs> and um. He just had his own. The problem with him was he just, it was his way or the highway. And he was, not only was he annoying and disrespectful and cocky and all that <laughs> junk, like he just completely didn't care about like tradition or his no. elders. He was just the worst type of guy. He like right? killed the main guy, um, Dragonetti or whatever his name is, and then just sits in his chair. Like, I always have this thing. I really hope they be paying these villains more than the stars because you'd well, have to pay the hell out of me to suck that bad on screen. Uh <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, it is where everyone doesn't like you. Especially <laughs> like Joffrey from Game of Thrones. Right. I'm sorry to interrupt you, sweetie. I just get so excited to talk with you. But Joffrey sucks so bad that he was so phenomenal at sucking that he basically didn't want to act anymore. Right. And I feel like this bad guy right here, like... Yeah, because I ain't seen him in nothing else, so he probably just, like... I hope he comes back for the second and third movie. No, nah, he's I good. hope he's the main he's bad good. guy. <laughs> I hope he comes back. But I was just thinking when I was watching this in 98, like, if I just happened to come across this, I probably would have thought this was... Just some high tech stuff, like especially that computer thing. I'd have been, like, been how like, how in the hell? I'd have been like, how are y'all, <laughs> how are y'all video chatting each other? What, how do you even have a flat screen? If I'd have seen this in '98, I'd have been thinking like, I don't know what type of software y'all are using to make these people turn into bubble gum, but that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he turned them into some hubba bubba. <laughs> My boy turned into some big league chew out there. Yeah, it kind of actually it kind of reminds me this is weird, but when I was younger, I used to be obsessed with the Power Rangers movie and like I just thought the CGI on that thing was next level. Like I thought that junk was insane. So if I saw this, I would have been like <gasps> there is a movie that is phenomenally popular. It's one of the greatest films to ever grace the box office. You haven't seen it. And I remember when I first saw it, it was mind blowing to me. The Matrix. You ever seen it? No. Dude, no, and this movie was mm -hmm. like the Matrix in a lot of ways. I could just feel some of the same, like even I, I don't really know which one's older to be honest, but I, I just got a lot of Matrix vibes, like with the graphics and stuff. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, it's been so long since I've seen the Matrix that to be honest, if I seen it as an adult, I'd probably have a completely different perspective. That's the one John Wick's in, right? He's yes. the main character. I watched that movie when I was in like ninth or tenth grade, though, like high school age. So I don't really remember it, but I just remember the graphics in it were. Like next level, next level for sure. Just like this one. I mean, this one I'm and I'm just saying in '98 I was in kindergarten, so I like remember kind of the things I was into, and I would have thought this was crazy. I would have thought there's no way someone figured that out. I don't know. I don't know, man. This was insane. Oh, uh, let us know in the comments. Are there any more vampire movies out there that we need to see? Are there? Was this one of the most popular vampire movies of all time? Are or there, is it the most popular vampire? You, movie you know how when you time? think of like the greatest movies, they seem to be. Like, for example, when I think of the greatest movies of all time, a vampire movie doesn't come to mind because I don't really know any. So no. are there any vampire movies out there that are just bangers in, yeah, the, in the Twilight culture that series. we need to see? Are there any vampire movies yeah, besides the Twilight, Twilight out there that maybe we could see? Do you, do you really want to watch that on the channel one day? I mean, you know, I was thinking about it as a teenager. I was like, oh, this is so good. But, you know, I've seen clips of, like, you know, the acting in it. And I was like, what? I thought that was good. <laughs> To be honest, dude, the only thing I've ever seen on Twilight that I know of is I was watching this Asian dude who had a YouTube channel. I don't remember his name back in the day, but he was one of the first people to like make YouTube videos and make parodies and stuff. And that's why I remember because it was like 13 years ago. And he he just had this whole thing where he reenacted Twilight, but he was like, I'm a mermaid. Or what did you say? She goes, I got a secret to tell you. And he goes, and then she goes, I'm a mermaid or something like that instead of a vampire. I don't know. If you guys know what I'm talking about, pin it below because I haven't seen it in 20 years, 15 years. And I would love to see it just because it would be so nostalgic. So if anybody I think knows Blade's what video better I'm than Twilight, about, honestly, I, I know people. Well, people might like that. I said that, but I think personally now as an adult, Blade's better than Twilight. It just occurred to me, like 
if you're a Twilight fan, you're probably not watching this video. I don't think they intersect <laughs> unless you just happen to be like really fond of vampires. You know, you just unless have to watch every them. vampire content. Yeah, you love them. You probably named your dog Buffy or something. But now that we're just on the subject, though, I really can't think of any vampire movies. So let us know in the comments, man. Just let us know, uh, you know, what's the best vampire movie, which ones we should check out. And then once and we're done, we'll move on to And tell us some vampire lore, like the great, like, I know like this, if you have this like peak right here on your head it's called a widow's peak it's a recessive gene if you have that you're, you're like a vampire automatically a vampire not yeah. automatically what kind of forehead i got you got that cone head thanks baby so i'm not a vampire no you good all right guys thanks for hanging out man like comment subscribe uh hit us up on patreon if you guys want to see the uncut extended edition of this movie Thanks for hanging out like always, and we'll see you on the next one. Be safe out there and try not to get your neck bit. Hey, put put your sword up like Blade does at the end. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs>